Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I am gonna take you through building a new target list on PDQ Deploy. Now, right out the gate, my first inclination is to tell you buy deploy or inventory because you've got so much more logic you can use there to select targets. But that being the case, let's look at a new target list. So if you come across the top here and you click on new target list, here we go. We are going to go add machines into a target list. Now, a target list is a bunch of machines that you can want to um, deploy to on a regular basis. So let's say I did want to build my own static test list here in deploy. Um, obviously, I want to name it. If you are a much better IT person than me, you probably want to put a description in there, but that's a bridge too far for me. At this point, you want to start choosing targets and adding computers, right? So if you know the name of them, Allen Rails, you can add it. You can choose those targets again. Look at this from Active Directory. Let's just go grab some computers out of there. We'll say bird person, uh, Jake's machine. That's a good one to deploy things to. Um, you can also choose them, uh, you know, from PDQ inventory if you want. In this case, if you had inventory, use that. So here is our test target list. I'm going to give that an OK. And you'll notice right here, there we go. There's our target list. So I'm going to deploy the best package ever to my test target list there. I'll hit deploy once. I'll go up here and I will choose machines from a target list. There's my custom list of targets. There's the test, give it an okay. It adds the machines that I put in that target list in here. And now I hit deploy now and the best package ever will be deployed to the machines that are in that target list. Again, it's a great way to, you know, group computers so that you can get your deployments to them, especially if you're doing it, you know, on a uh, repetitive basis, so. At any rate, that's how you do it. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.